Behold, I am Reuben, the first fruit of Jacob's strength, born of Leah, who cried unto the Lord in her affliction. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defiledst thou it. Genesis 49 verses 3 to 4 KJV. Our history ebbs and flows like the water, and though our tribe may have faded into the chronicles of the past, but our lineage is enduring, with traces said to be found across northern Africa and the Middle East. I am Simeon, named for the Lord's hearing of Leah's sorrow. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Genesis 49 verse 7 KJV Scattered indeed we were, our fate intertwined with that of Judah, and it is whispered that our descendants have mingled with the nations, from the fertile crescent to the hidden corners of Africa. Levi I am, sprung from Leah's longing for closeness with my father Jacob. Set apart for the Lord, they shall teach Jacob thy judgments, and Israel thy law. Deuteronomy 33 verse 10 KJV we bore the ark and pronounced his word, and while our land allotment was within our brethren's borders, our influence spread through biblical Israel and, in time, with the Jewish diaspora across continents, resonating in the synagogues of Africa. Judah, my name, hailed by Leah in praise. From me arises the line of David, and he who is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Revelation 5 verse 5. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Genesis 49 verse 10 KJV Through the tribulations of exile, our identity remained, flourishing through the Second Temple era to the far reaches of the world, including the better Israel of Ethiopia. I am Dan, son of Bilha, Rachel's maid whom Leah gave to Jacob. A serpent on the path, Dan shall judge his people. Genesis 49 verse 16 Though our allotment was near the Philistine plain, some recount our steps leading to distant lands, interlacing with the great kingdoms of Africa where judgment and strength found a new dawn. Naphtali, my name, springs from Bilhar's resilience. I was eloquent and swift. Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth goodly words, Genesis 49 verse 21. My free spirit has ventured far. The tales of our kin possibly whispered in the highlands and valleys of Africa. I am God. My mother was Zilpa. Leah's maid. I rose to be known for might. A troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Genesis 49 verse 19 KJV. The echoes of our valor in battle have resounded through the ages, and though dispersed, the strength of God is chronicled in the histories of peoples across the world, including the great kingdoms of North Africa. I am Asha, conceived by Zilpa, woven into the fabric of Jacob's legacy with threads of joy and plenty. Out of Asha his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Genesis 49 verse 20 KJV Like the olive branches that prosper in the soil of our inheritance, so too has our heritage prospered. It is believed by some that the seeds of our lineage have dispersed to the fertile crescents of Africa, to where our ancestral blessings mingled with the splendor of its ancient empires. I am Issachar. Leah bore me in a tent of knowledge. Issachar is a strong donkey, lying down between two burdens. Genesis 49 verse 14. Our understanding of the times guided our path through history, and perhaps into the cradle of ancient biblical and African wisdom where our burden of knowledge was shared. I am Zebulun, conceived in Leah's hope and born under a mariner star. Genesis 49 verse 13 says, Zebulun shall dwell at the heaven of the sea, and his border shall be unto Zidon. My tribe, destined for the whispers of the waves, the call of distant shores, embarked on voyages that transcended mere geography. The sons of Zebulun, intrepid explorers and astute traders, sailed beyond the horizon to where the sea meets the sky. In our ships laden with treasures from afar, we wove a network of commerce that connected the world. I am Joseph, the dreamer, the beloved son of Rachel and Jacob. Genesis 49 verse 22 says, Joseph is a fruitful vine, a fruitful vine near a spring, whose branches climb over a wall. Betrayed and sold, I rose in Egypt from a slave to Pharaoh's trusted advisor. My story is one of resilience and redemption from interpreting dreams in a dungeon to guiding a nation through famine. My journey, a testament to faith and foresight, bridges Canaan and Egypt, shaping the destiny of a people. 
I am Benjamin, the beloved of Rachel, the last of Jacob's sons. Genesis 49 verse 27 KJV says, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, in the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. Our tribe, fierce and valiant, may have journeyed far in the aftermath of Jerusalem's fall. In Africa, our legacy could be traced in the tales of warriors and hunters, our prowess and tactics inspiring the legends and lore of the mighty hunters and fierce warriors that grace the continent's rich history. Together, the 12th tribe formed a constellation of experiences as vast and enduring as the stars themselves, shaping not just our nation, but the world beyond.